now celebrating 40 years as a locally based opera company, Encompass New Opera Theatre joins us to celebrate their accomplishments. They'll tell us about the new production they're about to launch in conjunction with Brooklyn Academy of Music. And we don't say launch lightly, because the opera is The Astronaut's Tale, and it'll be performed for four nights at Bam Fisher starting next Thursday. Today, we are delighted to welcome Nancy Rhodes to BK Live. She's the artistic director of Encompass and the stage director of The Astronaut's Tale. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Also with <laughs> us is the star of the show, tenor vocalist and actor Ethan Lubner, who plays the Lubner. young astronaut dreaming of one day reaching not the moon, but Mars. <laughs> welcome, welcome, and welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. So 40 years of presenting opera, almost 40 years, right? We're gonna be 40 this year. Right. Um, how does that feel, Nancy? I'll tell you, it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really great because it's exciting to work with artists on new projects, a uh, multicultural range of American artists doing music and uh, theater and multi-dimensional uh, programs, which we've been doing for almost 40, almost years. 40 years. And we're thrilled about the astronaut's tale coming up. Yeah. Now, before we get into the astronaut's tale, mm -hmm. I mean, 39. I'm not going to give you the 40 just yet. 39 years of, of, <laughs> of, of bringing, you know, just so much art uh, and, and culture to Brooklyn. You know, what have been some of the theater's sort of biggest accomplishments or, or things of note? Wow, okay, so we did something called Angel of the Amazon uh, at the Baryshnikov Art Center. It celebrated uh, a true story about the rainforest. Uh, we did a Gertrude Stein musical trilogy at oh, Symphony yeah. Space, uh, which had a piece called Three Sisters Who Are Not Sisters. Right. Um, Epen was in that, that actually. Was, that was right. And uh, we have, uh, we did a whole program of American opera music music theater at the Holland Festival in Amsterdam. And the title we called it was Eccentrics, Outcasts, and Visionaries, comma, a century of American opera. And so Encompass has um, celebrated the American contemporary artists and the masters of music and opera of this country. So we were thrilled to take that to, uh, to Amsterdam. And, um, Wow, we've uh, oh, we did <laughs> we did a piece called the Diary of Anne Frank, which toured um, a little known piece. A little known <laughs> yeah. piece. Yeah. Uh, it was written that piece actually was written by a Russian uh, composer, and we did that at Cleveland Opera and on tour. So um, we're always uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And now, of course, we come to the astronauts. Yeah, uh, Apen, this is your sixth show with Encompass. Tell yeah. us about it. So uh, this show has been well, gosh, I'm, I want to say it's been six years in the making with just the two of us in the sense that um, we did uh, page to stage and we did scenes from it just to try it out in front of an audience get the feel and I was really lucky enough to be a part of that and after that um, we, uh, we we spent five years talking about it and, and, and chatting about it via email as we as we did other shows and saying we know we're gonna get to this someday and now the someday has arrived it's a lot of like uh, launching a launching launching an actual <laughs> space shuttle. It takes about five years to plan it and and get it all together and to take off. Nine, <laughs> eight, seven years. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. But you know, funny enough, uh, it actually started for me when I was a very young child because I went to space camp, and so I had no idea at that time that I, when I was going to space camp, that someday I would actually use those skills because they put me in a little space suit and they had me hanging from a from the ceiling via with this Whoa. sort of contraption to sort of have us float around the shuttle. Well, and, uh, I was about oh, to ask tools. you what your favorite part of the production is, and I think maybe we've already. <laughs> yeah, putting, putting on the spacesuit is, is, was great. It was really a, a whole lot of fun to, to do that. It's, uh, it's kind of a magical experience when you, you get that on and you're sort of strapped into to all of it, all of the pieces, and you're you know, pretending to be an astronaut. It's, it's, it's great. I, I like it. Well, don't give it all away. You know, I have to say that, you know, 39 years, 40, four decades of, of making productions, and, and now you're here, you know, doing The Astronaut's Tale. You know, how do you think sort of theater has sort of changed in that time? Were, you know, were they doing such fantastic pieces then, or has technology sort of played in, into this? 
Well, I think definitely technology plays into it. And, and in the astronaut's tale, we have incredible projections. Ooh. And it's a real multi, uh, multimedia Still piece. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a fabulous uh, uh, orchestra with uh, maybe 10, 15 percussion instruments, violin, cello, uh, French horn. So it's an exciting uh, piece from that standpoint. Yeah. Uh, and then we have four performers and one of whom is an actor, but he also was trained as an opera singer, but he does a lot of musical theater and, and, and straight plays. So now we see much more of a mix of, of artists doing, you know, crossing the boundaries of what's possible in the theater. And, uh, Do you so, find that that sort of mix uh, can be attributed to the audience as well? Sort of how has Encompass Theater's audience, how has the Brooklyn opera going audience sort of change like who is this play for who, who who's allowed to come well what is great about I think what what we try to do is really bring music theater or contemporary opera to an accessible uh, place mm -hmm. where we tell a compelling story using music and, and artistry and projections and uh, to reach out so that there's heart involved as well as ideas so uh, the astronauts tale explores our place in the universe, who are we, why are we here, what are our dreams, what are we reaching for, what kind of conflicts do we have mm -hmm. with each other, how can we break through boundaries. And so one of the things that I learned from the astronauts is that the folks that have actually gone up into outer space, when they view our planet from that perspective and they look down and see the fragile planet just hovering and moving around the mm -hmm. sun and they look and they see no borders they don't see any divisions and they have a visceral emotional experience and all of them talk about this mm -hmm. so we're going to have Michael Massimino mm -hmm. who is an actual astronaut who went up into space and he repaired oh, wow. the Hubble Space telescope and he was tethered to the spaceship and had to float out thousands and millions of miles away with a screwdriver to uh, fix this oh, thing. A one million dollar screwdriver. Yeah, really? <laughs> That's right. So, I mean, uh, these... My insides are just <laughs> waiting as we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But these, we're interested in bringing art and science and music and philosophy and ideas into uh, a mix. Nancy, has BAM been a a good place for this, for kind of breaking those boundaries oh, and telling I just, this story. I really just have to say that <laughs> they have been fantastic. We've been mentored by BAM, uh, the the staff and the folks there for more than a year, mm. and uh, just having their arms around us and uh, guiding us and giving us uh, wisdom and ideas has just been. Monumental. So they've been sort of mission control. Mission, mission control. control, right, 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 right. Awesome. Now, when does the play <laughs> debut? When, when is the actual launch? Date. So Thursday <laughs> night, uh, we have our first show. It runs Thursday, Friday, two shows on Saturday and on Sunday. And if you go to uh, bam.org slash encompass opera, you will find all of the details. If you just go to the bam.org website, you just look under opera and you, you'll see it all over. There's this great shot of an astronaut in a cornfield. You can't <laughs> miss it. It's beautiful. And we have tickets from, from student rates to senior that to That was the question. What's the discount? <laughs> is it a well, we have, live discount? We have lots of discounts, <laughs> around $20 or, you know. Yeah. Um, so uh, we want it to be affordable. We want everyone to be able to, to come out and, and uh, participate. And we're going to have audience talkbacks afterwards with the Ooh. cast. And we have two astronomers coming from Columbia University. One is uh, the head of the astronomy program. Program, and he's going to talk about we're made of star stuff. Stardust. We're star all stardust. Yes, star we are, stuff. and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. So he's going to talk about that, and we'll have some interaction. And then we have another professor, Joe Patterson from Columbia, who's going to talk about the emotional connection that he had as a young person that followed that his dream to 
to connect with the stars. So it's a big wow factor yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, and I think that's what, one of the things that really makes Encompass Opera so special is that is that you get not only the opera, but you get the chance to interact with the audience. I get a chance to interact yeah. with the audience, while they also get a chance to interact with me, and, and it becomes uh, much more of a shared experience, which I think makes it more welcoming well, how for do you, people. How do you sort of prepare for that if it's a, a back you can't. and forth? Or is it all just <laughs> can't. whatever happens, you have no right? No idea what's going to happen. And sometimes there might be a composer in the audience going, "Well, what happened in that measure? Why did that go that way?" And Are you, you don't. Yeah, it happened at uh, the last one that we did at Waker a Wedding up in Manhattan. I was right. in the audience. Well, I'm sure you Are you now going to also have astronauts in the audience? Yes. Now saying, we're going to well, have physicists in the uh, audience. Excuse and, me, Ethan. I believe you and I <laughs> talked about this beforehand. And There's an error in your math. The star stuff was not <laughs> properly treated in this one scene. Well, but it's, yes, you, you never know what's going to happen. Right. But that's the joy of it, and that's what makes it, that's what I think is going to really bring people in. If you're scared about going to an opera, if you're scared, you can talk about it afterwards. We'll be there well, to hold your hand. it's in English. It is in English. And oh, I was going to ask about that. It's in English. It's in English okay. that we do, because yep. we work with the living American uh, uh, writers and composers. Okay. But I want to say, uh, Charles Fussell mm -hmm. wrote the music, fantastic yes. score. Like and yeah. the story, uh, the words were written by Jack Larson. And you may, if you ever saw the old Superman uh, pro series on TV. He mm -hmm. played Jimmy Olsen, Cub Reporter. So Amazing. that's the so guy. So he's still writing. He's still writing. Still but at <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. you know, have a fantastic debut. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to come and check you out. Thank You're gonna have you. to come back and tell us how everything goes. And you. you know, just amazing. You know, before TV, before anything, everybody, man, always look up at the stars. So now you're gonna yeah. bring us with you. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you so much. Stop, stop, stop.